Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy and in today's video we're going to be making a custom fabric cape for a vintage Kenner 3 and 3 quarter inch Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars figure. Now recently on my channel you've seen that I made a fabric cape for the vintage Darth Vader figure and I think everyone was quite impressed with uh, what a difference it made to the figure adding this fabric cape, taking the, away the uh, original vinyl one and turning it into something completely different and this was something that I thought that Kenner could have easily done back in the day to update this figure later in the line. So today we're going to do exactly the same for the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. We obviously need to make a different looking cape because we don't want him to look like Darth Vader but I have a plan so let's get on and see what we can make. To make Obi-Wan Kenobi look more like he does in the movie we need to make a cape with a hood but it also needs to have sleeves on it. If I was just to take something like the uh, Return of the Jedi, uh, Jedi Luke cape like this I don't think that would look right. This obviously has a hood on it but it doesn't have any sleeves it just hangs over the figure's shoulder. And I think if you put that on Obi-Wan Kenobi it wouldn't look like he does in the movie. So what I'm going to do is take inspiration from Yoda's cape which is a very small little thing but it does actually have individual sleeves and I've shown on this channel before how to make Yoda's cape so I'm going to use this as the basis for making a pattern to go on Obi-Wan Kenobi and then we'll modify it a bit so that we can add the hood part. Now the cape pattern for Yoda was actually quite complicated to work out because it's made out of one single piece of fabric but it's folded and then sewn just down the uh, sides to create this little cape that has sleeves. So what I've done is I've taken a printout of my pattern for that and then I've sort of modified it and drawn on top of it trying to enlarge it to make something that I know will fit the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. So this is my rough pattern that I made and you can see if I put this on the figure if I lay it like that the cape now comes down to where his feet are and if I fold that over you can see we've got these uh, front portions that come down to match as well and we obviously have these pieces that we can turn into sleeves. So what I've done with that is I've then cut that out of a piece of fabric to test that it does actually fit on the figure and at this point I realized I'd made a couple of mistakes. I'd made the front piece is too long and the back piece is too small so I've made a, another sort of few modifications to it and I've created a pattern that I think will work uh, and that this is actually the pattern you can see I sort of cut and stuck bits of uh, uh, extra bits of paper on the bottom to extend it but I think this if I uh, sort of cut it out finally it should make something that will fit onto the figure we obviously need a hood as well so for that I've made another tiny little pattern which is this piece here uh, it doesn't look like much at the moment but the idea will be that you fold it over we sew along that edge and we make a sort of little uh, what, little pocket I suppose and then these bottom edges we sew around this circular piece here where the neck should go and I think we will end up with something that works quite nicely. So first thing I need to do once I've got these sort of rough patterns is actually make a proper pattern so I'm going to take these into Photoshop I've scanned them in and I will make a proper pattern that we can work from. <laughs>
And here you go, this is the uh, final version. I've tidied everything up so it's really quite easy to understand. I've just printed this out onto normal printer paper. On the back of it, I've stuck a few little bits of double-sided tape, uh, which I will show you what to do with in a minute. But first thing we've got to do is to cut this out. And then we can apply it to the fabric that I've chosen and I'll show you exactly what that is. For the fabric, I'm using this stuff called looped fleece or toy knit. You can get it in various different colours. As you can see here, I've got it in a sort of chocolate brown and a more orangey brown. And this is very close to the original fabric that was used on later Star Wars figures. So you can see it's got a nice sort of soft fleece on one side and a bit more of a shiny surface on the other side. I will put a link in the description as to where I get this. You have to buy it online. It comes from China. It takes about a month to get here, but they have it in multiple colours. Uh, and I've bought a whole range over the years, and these are just two that I have happen to have that I think will be a quite nice choice. Now the original capes on Obi-Wan Kenobi were sort of orangey brown so you can see that's the uh, colour of an original cape there and I think that was actually not really a very close match to what he wears in the movies. I think actually this chocolatey brown is probably a bit of a closer match. You can see that uh, it's got quite a nice sort of colour to it. So I'm going to make my cape out of this chocolatey brown, but I will probably also make one out of this more orangey brown, which is quite a close match to that original cape, maybe a little bit lighter. There's no exact match for the, the uh, sort of vinyl that's uh, made. So I'm going to do one of each, I think, but uh, I think possibly this chocolatey brown will make him look more like he does in the movie. So what we need to do is take our now cut out uh, template. We'll take the uh, double sided tape uh, covering off the back and I will uh, stick those to my jeans a few times just so it's not too sticky. I'm then going to apply this to the fabric and cut around it. You could pin this but I prefer using this uh, sticky tape method. It just is a lot easier to work with and makes cutting out these complicated shapes a lot easier. So let's get these bits cut out and then we can start sewing everything together. With everything cut out, we can now start sewing it together. You'll see on the pattern I put dotted lines around some of the edges and that indicates the areas that need to be sewn. So if we take the cut out main part of the cape and we want the nice side facing up because then we're going to fold it down so that we basically have this sort of the inside part facing out on top of each other. And you can see if we fold these two pieces down, it starts to look like a cape. And now what you've got to do is sew around this edge, leaving a little armhole there. So we make sure everything is lined up. I've got some thread on a needle and I'm going to sew around that edge there. And then we'll do the same on that side there. And then we'll basically have what looks like the starting of a cape. And then we just need to add the hood. So as I say, let's just sew these pieces first and we'll get the basic shape of the cape working. I have a needle here with some brown thread on it. I'm just going to get sewing. This is actually quite a lot of sewing. It's taken me about 10 minutes to go around both of those, but you can now see that it is starting to look like a cape. It's still inside out, but we will need to leave it like that because we've got to attach the hood to it. So the next thing we need to do is get the little bit of fabric, which is the hood. And again, if you look at my pattern, you can see there are dotted lines around the edge of it. The first thing we need to do is actually to sew along this back edge. So here is the hood. It's got slightly angled edges, so we can line that up with those angled edges there. Fold it in half like so and then we've just got to sew quickly along that back edge there. Don't sew across the bottom yet, that's the bit that we actually have to sew onto the main part of the cape. So for now we're just going to sew quickly up this side here.
Now comes the tricky part because we need to attach this hood to the cape. So you've got to sort of line everything up. You can see there is the uh, neck hole in the front of the cape. So you have to sort of line everything up and make sure that the hood lines up nice and neatly with this edge of the cape which is about there. There is a little bit of leeway in this, it doesn't matter if it's slightly off, but you want to try and get this as neat as you possibly can. So if I just line that up, now I've got to sew all the way around it. So again, I've got my needle and thread here. I'm going to work my way around attaching the hood to the cape. And you should end up with something like that. It doesn't look much like a cape now because the hood is sort of in and makes it look a bit of an odd shape. But if we start to turn this the other way around, so we'll turn it outside in or yeah, outside in, I think is the right way of uh, phrasing that. So we'll push the hood out. So you can now see you've got a little bit of a hood shape there and we need to push the sleeves through. I'm just doing this with my scissors just because I can't get my finger through the tiny hole of the sleeves. There you go. Now you can see that is starting to look like a hood and it's doing exactly what I want because when you see uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi his hood is quite sort of far over his face. You don't really see much of his face at all. It really hangs down. So that is doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. Just put a little bit of a crease in that. Make sure that those fold out nicely. Yeah, so there we go. That is a good looking cape. Let's put it on the figure. So I'll bring in my Obi-Wan Kenobi figure here and we can slot that onto him. I'm not going to take the lightsaber out. I thought it might be easier to do with the lightsaber out, but actually I think we can uh, get that onto the figure quite nicely. Start to put it around. Yeah, that's looking good. So if I put the hood over the top of his head, you'll see exactly what I mean. The fact it sort of hangs down and hides his face. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Very pleased with that. And I like the colour as well. It's a nice sort of chocolatey brown colour. So there's, Obi-Wan with his cape on with the hood up and of course you can pop that back down and you can now see his face. I think that's quite a nice uh, modification there, sort of an update to the figure. He now looks, yeah, much more like Obi-Wan Kenobi. You could also uh, sort this out so that it sort of tucks behind his arms a bit so you can see the uh, more detail of his cape underneath or the plastic moulding underneath. Yeah, very nice. I think that works remarkably well. So here we go, here is the Obi-Wan Kenobi in the uh, chocolate brown version of the cape. I really like that. Maybe I could have made it a little bit longer. I'm not too sure though. I like the fact that you can see his feet are sort of hanging out the bottom. Maybe, you know, if you wanted to do that for yourself, you could modify it and make the cape slightly longer. I've also made an orangey brown version of the uh, cape as well, using that other material that I had. And I quite like that as well. I think the chocolate brown one is more movie accurate, but that one makes it look more like a toy. It certainly gives it a little bit more of a sort of a childish look but you can see the uh, the cape works really nicely and the way the hood hangs I'm very happy with how that looks indeed. Now as well as uh, using this cape pattern for Obi-Wan Kenobi it turns out you can actually use it for a Tusken Raider as well so I've made this version which is basically the same cape just without the hood part attached to it and you can see that works very nicely as well so this is just using a lighter material it's the same toy knit uh, that I've used on the Obi-Wan Kenobi it's just in a lighter sort of more cream colour 
I think that works very nicely as well. So this cape is sort of multi-purpose. If you do it with the hood, then you've got one for Obi-Wan Kenobi. But if you do it just without the hood in the lighter colour, you can use it on the Tuscan Raiders. So it's a multi-purpose pattern. The pattern I've made for this project you'll be able to download from toyploy.com along with all of the other cape patterns that I've made over the years. Now I know people really like these custom capes that I've been making so if you want any others uh, do let me know in the comments below because I'm always open to suggestions. I think I've covered most of the Star Wars figures by now but I'm sure there are some that other people would like to see. I think Lando Calrissian is one that uh, has been suggested a few times so I might work on that one fairly soon. If you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.